Hey guys, welcome to Season 4, Episode 18 of Criminal Minds. Here we go. Okay. Mr. Hatchner? Yes. Oh, please, he's been waiting. Thank you. Who's been waiting? Someone's watching you. That's not good. You're the only person he's asked for. You must be good friends. Uh, actually, we worked together once about ten years ago. You came. Thank you. Of course, Tom. I don't know why you asked for me. The Reaper. I shut down the investigation without the rest. The killings. It was long as we both sure the until death do us part. If you agree to my terms, take out a personal out of the Michigan Post. This is a contract. Which we both honored. No, we weren't close to catching him. If it didn't work, I could have restarted the investigation, but it did. The killing stopped. I waited six weeks. What? Six weeks before I sent you away. How many people would he have killed before we caught that break, huh? Would all those lives be worth it? We don't get to make those decisions. Damn, dude. I did it to save lives. Please tell the victim's families that I'm sorry. Please, tell them, tell them I, I had no choice. Tell them you're sorry. Who? Oh. Yes, that's right, Aaron Hodgson. March 7th, 1998. Is that right? Yes. Because I found it, do I get to know what it's about? <laughs> the Reaper. Like, the Boston Reaper? Okay, you can go home now. Okay. <laughs> he literally lives here. They were not joking. <laughs> He's the only one there. <laughs> Hold on, dude. Hold on. Just just stay alive a little longer. Why would someone take up a contract like that? Like just for the fun? Oh. Two flats. How did we get two flats? I don't know. Alright, I'll call Triple A. Mm. What if it was us? You'd want somebody to stop, wouldn't you? Hey, are you alright? Ah, uh, no, I got two flats. I got one spare. Nina Hale? Give it a shot, right? You got it. His voice sounds slightly familiar. Yeah. Just pass me them. Oh, hell. Are there two of them? Uh, I really appreciate this. My pleasure. This one hurt. Oh, that's a big gun. I'm not gonna shoot you. the glasses back on. A sign of remorse? Feeling bad? <laughs> Dressing him back up the way he found him? His ritual? Why, shouldn't we wait for the official request? We haven't been invited. It so. will be. Oh, <laughs> well, looks like we're going to Boston. Narcissistic killers need other people to recognize their power. That's where they contact the media. So how did he stop for 10 years? In Night of the Reaper, the author suggests he had been arrested for an unrelated crime or died. Perhaps he's trying to correct that misconception. So from 95 to 98, he shoots, stabs, and bludgeons 21 victims. Mm. Men, women, all ages, all types. A highly intelligent may be a bit of an understatement. The Reaper and the Zodiac Killer have never been arrested, and the BTK Killer was only caught after 25 years because he went to the press to counter a book that said he died, moved away, or been locked up, just like this one. 
Don't ask. the media when this gets out. It's going to be a frenzy. I worked to read the case for 18 months. If there's any proof that this horrible crime is anything more than a coffee cast, I'll be the first one to let you know. Sorry I haven't called you back. As you can see, I'm busy. This could destroy the department. I know. This is SSA Jennifer Jerome, Dr. Spencer Reed. Who is that that you're Merrill. focusing on? Uh, we're sitting up at the field office. Nina's throat was slashed. She was stabbed 46 times. Evan was bludgeoned and then 46 shot times? The third revolver is 44 Magnum. The corrected lens requirement. The glasses aren't his? He only took glasses from one victim the ninth. We should have found them on the 10th, and we didn't. They were never found. Oh, so he held those freaking... Oh, the... George Foyer, 28, was the ninth victim and the only one to survive the reaper. What? what? Amanda Bertrand, 19, his date for the evening was not as lucky. He likes to attack them inside or near their cars at night on poorly lit, less populated roads. Providence or fate has favored our undertakings. And Reaper seems to see himself as the personification of fate. So how did Foyette survive? By Silver Toyota on Riverton past the Tyson Quarry. A call was made from a payphone about a mile from the crime scene. EMTs arrived 15 minutes later. Bertrand was DOA, Foyette barely breathing. If he hadn't made this call, Foyette wouldn't have been found in time. The call saved him. So the Reaper didn't make any 911 calls after this? One. Yes, so he's done making, he's done. Yeah, looks like he learned his lesson. Come on, I wrote the book on this guy, even though he sent you a signed copy. I, I assume you got it. Officially, we have no reason to think that he's anything but a copycat. Well, how about unofficially? What's more important he's to you, lying. getting the story or getting the killer? You treated the victims with respect and you treated us fairly. Every dime you made went to the family. I know, that's why I came down. The minute I have something I can say, I'll call you. I don't believe it. Unbelievable. Honey, please don't. I'm not speeding. I'm not drunk. <laughs> Could it be uh, your license? No hey, way. Officer, license, registration, and proof of insurance. No way he's a cop! I'll be right back. He hasn't even told me why he stopped What? Let's just get this over with. Tomorrow I'm gonna kill your wife like that. His license and registration are out of his wallet. Looks like he used a cop loose. Oh, spot. God. Isolated few drivers. Wait, so he's not a cop? How did he get the car? Okay, so what do you take? He took the went through a purse. Any idea what he was looking for? <laughs> and these latest ones are on us. You got all that from one question mark. That's <laughs> impressive. I mean no one better than I've let on. What does that mean? It means that there is a profile in the room. I kept coming back to it over the years, and I worked on it alone. But I never shared it with anyone. I know I'm always preaching that profiling is a collaborative effort, but this one wasn't. I don't know, maybe if, if I was wrong, I was going to head us in the wrong direction. Well, you think you're right? The Reaper fits a profile we refer to as an omnivore. Unlike most serial killers, an omnivore doesn't target a specific victim type. Although he tends to focus on his younger female victims with his knife, he essentially is a predator who will kill anyone. Why is he so democratic? Because he kills aren't just about his victims, he needs recognition, he needs us to know. The symbols. The prior younger victim he spent more time with than stabbed 46 times. Why? He pays special attention to his younger female victims and his weapon of choice with them is the knife, a substitute instrument for body yeah. penetration. And the younger the victim, the more time and effort he spends. Teenagers? Look for men with access and authority. What? School teachers, counselors, coaches, and anyone who's been charged with sex crimes against teenage girls in the last 10 years. That's all for now. Thank you. Holy shit. Garcia can't find George for yet. He's gone. I mean, he's completely off the grid and he's gone. How is that possible? Yeah, how is that possible? The hospital. He uh, quit his job, sold his car, closed his bank accounts, canceled his credit cards, cell phone, apartment, everything. He has no paper, thus he has no trail, and I can't find him because he's gone. He doesn't he exist. It takes commitment. You'd have to be willing to cut every tie of everything and everyone. That's insane. You know he's life. vanished? It's like killing yourself. Garcia, we don't have much time. I know, I'm sorry. 
He would have to completely isolate himself. He's totally alone. But how do you cut all ties? How, yeah, how? You have to talk to someone, right? Uh-huh. That's him. Go explain that. That's okay, we're FBI. This is Agent Rossi. I'm Agent Hotchner. We met once before, do you remember? Yeah, I remember. Why did we get off the street for the century? <laughs> well, it's just going to take long because I really can't be late for work. What do you do? I'm a freelance computer specialist for the city. We're sorry to bother you. We'll make it as quick as possible. God, that guy vanished off the face of the freaking earth. I watched him kill Mandy. He stabbed her 67 times. Do you know how long it takes to stab somebody 67 times? Jesus. I never found the ring. Have you ever received any strange letters or calls, hang-ups? I keep residences under different names. I move between them randomly. He likes to get you in a car, so I take the bus. Believe me, I've gone through great lengths to make sure that none of the things you just mentioned ever happened. Huh. We'll need your other names and residences so we can reach you. We can take you someplace safe until this is over. No. <laughs> Boston is my home. Dude, I feel like he would know it's him. the one thing I promised I would never let him take from me. It won't protect you here. He can't protect me. Nobody can. That's so stupid. <laughs> He's just a man. Nothing more. Then why can't you catch him? <laughs> Thank you for your time. It takes time, man. You gotta, you gotta be patient with us. You, know, you just hey, believe. Was dropped off at my office. Oh come on! I'll get this to the lab. Are you gonna run the story, Roy? The same no, thing. I'll just give it to somebody else. Maybe, maybe not. Or is that? To him, you're special. He wants you to know why he stopped. Well, you're going to do what you're asking me to do? I'm not asking you to do anything. Well, this, is, this is the biggest story of my life, and it, it's, it's mine. It's, it's an exclusive. I can offer you full and exclusive access to the FBI's behavioral analysis unit after we catch him. Right, if I hold the story. I didn't say that. But, I mean, what if you can't catch him? Well, that's a risk we're going to have to take. You know, it would be crazy if it was him. Hotshot. He doesn't sound like him, though. If you stop hunting me, I'll stop hunting them. Yeah, his voice is like... It's you more raspy and more lower. It's a good deal. But then again, like I mean, we've had we've had people in the I past who you. I thought you were smarter than this. Have adapted their voices and like, changed character. And you've misjudged me. I don't make deals. I'm the guy who hunts guys like you. <laughs> there are no guys like me. You all think that. You'll regret this. I'll see you soon. I will tell you this. This guy, hit, I already know his sentencing. Death. As soon as he's caught. He's taking the bus. Almost missed it. Draw. Oh. Oh my god. Take the next life. I want to kill in your wallet. Oh, that's a lot more people. He's changing his shit. Let's take the money. Nobody needs to get hurt. Damn. Six bodies, not including the driver. That's a completely... Put him down with the gun, or more likely guns. Different. And finished him off with his knife. Arthur Lanessa's wedding ring. What did he take? Does it matter? He called me tonight at my hotel and offered me the deal. What did you say? I hung up on him, and then he does this. So you think this is your fault? 
You think you want to take the deal? The killing stopped. They closed the case and sent the BAU away. For 10 years, you worked on other cases, active cases. I kept coming back to this one. I kept coming back to this profile. You can't I beat yourself out. down about that. I blame that. myself for every victim who got killed while I was on my book tour? Look, if you want to end up like Shaughnessy, like Gideon, blaming yourself for everything, Gideon! You can put that away. You should. Yeah, it's a little dramatic, don't you think? <laughs> My wife always said I had a friend who was dramatic. Which one? <laughs> All of them. <laughs> Thanks. Good time. You never used code before, why no? They're not part of a pattern or equation. I mean, mathematically, they're insignificant. Maybe so, but I know I've seen them before. 148820111439? Was that the last? Which is why FOIA only takes a bus. Or was it 1438? Number seven. And it stops right in front of Foyette's apartment. He knows where Foyette lives. And he wants us to know it. Line 1488, Edenhurst. The number's on the bus for Foyette's addresses. We'll split up and cover each address. Oh, God. How would he know that? That means he's been following that man for the frickin' 11 years? I mean, that makes sense if he's that crazy. Shit! Shit! We got nothing. Same thing here. Have you heard from Morgan? No, my God. He knocked you out. It's time to die. Where's oh? Why didn't he? He took my credentials. The important thing is you're okay. He left me this. Power and manipulation. Don't let him get to you. Huh. He couldn't torture me. He likes to interact with his victims. To tell them he's gonna kill them before he does. Or by letting them know he could've. God, she's right. He's just trying to get into your head. Yeah, I think he's in Right or wrong, he had me. <laughs> Signs of a struggle and a lot of blood. The dead body. Just the drag marks. The human body holds five quarts of blood. I'd say there's a little more than half that. Why is he so focused on Foya? What's so special about him? He was his only surviving victim, the only one he couldn't defeat. But he's not a threat. Defeating him would be no great accomplishment. There's something there that we're missing. There's nothing. There's no point in Amanda killing her. What, what do we know about her? 19 there's no point in... Came here from Michigan to go especially to after this Foya long. When you just continued where you left Michigan. off? You already knew where he was. He already knew all of his... That can't be a coincidence. So it was either love at first sight or what? Foya was lying. As a 28-year-old teacher's assistant in freshman classes. That gives him plenty of... No freaking way. Is he the one? Is he the guy? Uh, Did he... No way! I want you to look up in Boston City Records, uh, Kevin Baskin, Miles Holden, and William Parker. Those scratch that, they're not all working for the Department of Education. They're not. No, William Parker was fired for alleged inappropriate behavior with his female students. Do you know how long it takes to stab somebody 67 for 67? Watch. That's him! Why can't you catch him? Call someone to see for you. I got it at 2633 South Budlong. It must be an address. You know, earlier when, when we went up to him and he was talking, I was like, hold up. <laughs> Is that his voice? Hey, hey. Nice to see you. Because he kind of sounded a little like it, but it also wasn't. Just set it up over there. Yeah, you see the little raspiness in it? I was he like... He stabbed a man to hurt him to death. He drove a mile. He called 911. He went back and he inflicted those wounds on himself. He knew EMS would get there. He inflicted the wounds the on himself. He wounds. We never considered him as a suspect. Why would he do it? The that guy's crazy! Everything we had came from him. Why didn't you break the story I gave you about the deal I made with Shaughnessy? What? It was a gift. 
or gave it to me. Oh my god, that's insane! Wait, 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 stop. All you had to do Oh, that's was insane! It's gonna just disappear again. There's no way to Please stop! Fuck her! You aren't in the right place, are you? You wrote that I was either dead or arrested. And I want everybody to know that. It's over. Stop. I'll kill him. You need him to write your story. I'm taking him with me. I'll let him go so I'm safe. No, you're not. You're not afraid. You're greedy and narcissistic. <laughs> You want the recognition that's gonna come from the book that he's gonna write. You want the fame that's gonna come from the media. Yeah. It's gonna be like Bundy. You want that? Where's my badge? Where is it, you son of a bitch? He dreamy. Oh my. I. I. I <laughs> I tried to say unbelievable and oh my god at the same time, and I got oh my. <laughs> yeah, okay. Whoa! <laughs> the bullet at the house was Foyette's. Reed guessed low, the coroner said it was four boards. Watch, how is that possible? He'd be dead. He's been planning his death for a long time. So what, he took a little blood at a time until he had enough to convince us he was dead without finding his body? That's insane. He cut himself and took enough of his blood over the years to fake his death. That's honestly, that's, that's insane, but it's brilliant. You've got to be kidding me! He freaking prison broke it. in Massachusetts, and ten years to plan. He planned. We're gonna find him, right? He said he'd be more famous than we knew, and he was right. Absolutely insane. <laughs> First off, screw the time change. What is this shit? What is this shit? Damn darkness. I hate the time change. Just keep it at one time zone. Give us extra time during the day. There's no reason it should be dark at 5.30. That's stupid. Get your shit together, politicians. Anyways, um, that is that is absolutely amazing. Mark that down as one of the greatest villains. And there's a very good chance we'll see him again. This season continues to prove how amazing, amazing of a season it is. Um, and, and like I said earlier, his conviction. As soon as he's caught, take him out. <laughs> um, I know he's got to go through the process, but he we couldn't even get him to the process. That's insane. Um, that is wild. Absolutely wild. I wonder if we're going to continue in the next episode or if we're going to come back to this later. Like the video, comment, and subscribe if you have not already. I'll see y'all next time.